turn this down on my end because I know it'll get a smidge loud. So, since I've last streamed this, I don't know, that was some amount of days ago. <clears throat> I did do what I was, what I said I was going to do, and I finished all of the challenges, which I'm glad because that was like three hours of challenges it felt like. Just make sure I didn't leave any uh, quests behind, which looks like I finished all of those up too. Uh, I got because I was like, oh, I don't know yet. This is the actual chapter stage. So damn, I have to bring Daruk. <laughs> but who else is apparently here? Mifa, Zelda. I should maybe. How many weapons do we even have for Zelda? It's still just the damn five. I can't really do anything. I damn, I have two things that'll give a whole lot of experience. So maybe I'll just do that real quick, just so she has like some kind of decent weapon. Although I could just not bring Zelda as well. That is also a totally viable option. Link is just so far beyond, like, everyone. Yeah, like, damn, I haven't even, like, brought Mifa up to speed. I've, like, brought a few characters up to 50, or, I don't know. I, I guess it was only just the two, because I was like, yeah, these guys kind of suck and have a mission to do with them. Um... Alright, that was Sidon, not Mifa. <laughs> what, 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 I mean... I mean, Sidon's got a... Wait. Unless he's just gonna be here regardless. Or whatever, uh... Yeah, fuck it, no, we'll just bring Zelda, something different. Let's go level up that, that there weapon of yours. Wait, how much? Only that's 21. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna... Damn, yeah, we'll double up on that regular attack damage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that just... Like, doubled what the original one was, and more. So I've also kind of had a change of heart, a change in opinion. Uh, I have seen the light, the end of the tunnel, and that tells me that the spear is actually the best fucking weapon Link has. Oh, it, it does over 100 damage now. That's nice. I still need to figure out the, uh, the combo is a bit better for it, but man, that thing shreds. <laughs> You know, it's like the Master Sword in the uh, OG Hero Warriors kind of like stole the show most of the time. Oh, there were there were times where you want to do a particular weapon just because of like uh, you know the challenge on the map. Okay, but finally, I should do cooking. Cooking is good. Actually, I need to buy Volt Fruit. Man, how long can I not do the mission for it? That's really the question we have to ask ourselves here. I passed over who has the Volt Fury, right? Or is she just not here right now? She might just not be here, which sucks because I need those. I'm starting to understand the importance of the shops. I wonder how it would taste. Let's go straight up damage. <clears throat> you know, special attack charge rates never done me wrong either. <laughs> Okay, well, onwards to the beginning of Chapter 6. We don't stand a chance of defeating them. And what's more, our chances of rescue are slim to none. And it's likely the same for all of high. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rule one, the researcher's code is to never up. Personally? I prefer the air. 
this is a high view. Huh? Report! A, a divine beast from the western waters! Hmm. He didn't have a face. See that? What did I tell you? I just love how absolutely quiet that lad is. For those who had traveled from beyond time, the fated party fought with all of their strength to fend off the unending waves of guardians and monsters. Despite their efforts, Hyrule remained embroiled in grueling battle. The soldiers stationed within Hyrule Castle fled, seeking refuge in the east, in the impenetrable walls of Ocala Citadel. As guardians swarmed the perimeter, they held out hope and waited for help to arrive. Link and the others hurriedly made their way to the Citadel. Meanwhile, having reclaimed Varuta, Mifa and Sidon faced the enemy directly, forging ahead to the tower. I'm assuming we'll have to do something with that. <laughs> hmm. So we start the mission off with it. Here we go! Mmm, elephant. I mean, this is cool and all, but do I have to? <laughs> A link with his spear can do more than this divine beast, I'm pretty sure. This one that charges now does the upward fling. Well, that's a lot of baddie. All right, what about the right path? I mean, I don't know. I mean, if it's shorter, why wouldn't I do that? I mean, this can't be harder, right? Like, not by that much? That's right, this is, uh... Wow. This might be the worst ZR of, of all of them. I don't know, I guess maybe it's more specialized as opposed to... killing every last thing at once. It's, it's, it's just for the bigots. I can just do that as well. Are they even dead or no? I mean, unless Guardians are just like really strong or something, I don't know. Seems a bit weak. I mean, this needs to get out of my way. Directly in... is the same height as all the flying ships. Fine, I guess I'll just have to do this too. There's a Hinox in the water. Oh my god, I just keep getting pushed back. Alright, fine. If I can't move, you all can't live. Oh. Oh, he's just getting laser beam. He's getting beamed so hard the, the frame rate's gotta dip. I think there's just an Octorok floating above that. Uh, this elephant Van Van Buta. Ron Buta. Yeah, get intercepted, idiot. So I wonder if I'll have to do another thing with uh Urbosa's, uh Divine Beast because hers could run. So that'll be nice. Being able to run. Wish I had it here, to be honest. You know, if I just do this... Oh, wow, that goes really far. Okay. That's a lot of enemy. Is it the time to... special again? <sighs> Perhaps it might be. I don't know. Get the frick out of here, Guardian. You're really not all you're cracked up to be. Well, I guess doing this is going to be twofold. So we defeat the wall, and then we defeat the enemies. Ugh. 
just a whole row of guardians. It seems really uh, excessive, if you ask me. Well, good thing I can walk and intercept with this. If this even works, I don't know. This, I don't know. It really doesn't. Maybe it does less damage, but you can't really intercept a laser, can you? Uh, I mean, you can. You could. Shake the controller violently to, to switch where I'm looking. Just not very intuitive on a controller after playing that, like a mission that is not handheld. Alright, cool. So we got that. Now we have cutscene, correct? I didn't select all these people for nothing. Oh, well. Look, how about this? I'll just do that preemptively, because I know. I know. I also dropped like 200 more frames since the last time I looked. I blame Divine Beast. Divine v Beast mission just griefed me. Oh. Well, hello. I don't know why my alert didn't go off. That's not very good. Uh, but hello, everyone from the, the Danger Streams uh, stream. I hope you're among us went well. I, I, was, I was lurking there for a little bit. Wow, damn, this must be like one hell of a mission we're loading. Ooh, thank you for the follow, Connie. Uh, well, we are currently uh, dealing with uh, a calamity. This is what we're, what we're doing here in Hyrule. We shall cover the perimeter. And we'll join you as soon as we can. <laughs> Alright, so you just went from watching some Among Us, and I mean, you're Sister. about to watch the most intense two button gameplay that exists. We can do this. Right. Sidon, it's an honor to fight beside you. I'm so proud of the Zora you've become. Remember that. I will. This just gets, this gets more confusing. <laughs> so yeah, I get you up to speed. This now is a, a prequel to, to Zelda Breath of the Wild. This, right? uh, but we also have time travel now. Of course. Sister. So we have people from Breath of the Wild coming back a hundred years to this great calamity. So, uh, I'm wondering what they're going to do with it. Are we, are we, are we, oh, I get to come back. Whoa. I live. Again. Alright, so this is, there's a lot of things I had to kill on the minimap. I can see that. I got, I got my two dads in the background there. You can't really see it very well. Uh, See, can I, I'm just gonna wait for this to come back All right, so I can pause it. Um, okay, so it's really low quality, but I got that finally after like three, four weeks. My, my two dads, John Romero and John Carmack, always there, always watching over me. Very good. <laughs> so, since the last time I played this, I've converted to Spear Master Race. Uh, I was talking to my brother about it. Because, you know, I've just been using the Master Sword as Link, right? But, uh, the spear, I, it kills things faster than I could ever dream. Uh, you know, I don't have a shield. Is this going to still work the same way? Okay, yeah, it still works the same way. Good to know. Well, I can't believe I just dodged that by doing that. Or, yeah. Like, especially when I, when I get the special for this thing. Oh, boy. Uh, stasis. I'll just do this. Oh, never mind. I did four. It doesn't matter. We point smash. Say goodbye. So wait, if I, if Mifa was also with her brother by the Divine Beast, and Mifa's in my party, how does that work? I mean, like I know this thing. This game got real confusing the last two times I streamed it, but this is something else. 
These are conundrums I'm not ready to, to deal with yet. Uh, do it. That's right, just stop dodging. I've learned I can't do perfect dodge on these. Uh, stasis. I've also come to the conclusion that um, it's a lot harder to play this game with a delay of playing on my computer than just playing on my Switch. Uh, to be clear, Leifer and the rest of the cool dude who are still alive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone's good. They were trapped in their divine beasts, and we rescued them. And yeah, everyone's just kind of chilling, do, doing their part, and making the timeline even more confusing because you know the Zelda timeline was so easy to follow to begin with. And yeah, we, we have. I'm on chapter six now. Just started. And there are seven chapters. And I, uh, there's also a post-game to this game, which I was not expecting. Alright, these guys are just going to get rocked. Well, I guess to be fair, I wasn't expecting the amount of post-game that I know there is now. Alright, wait, why? Zelda is all the way down there, huh? Uh, Alright, Zelda, you go, girl. You just... You take that frame rate. Who needs it? Two? Yeah, two's the bomb. And I can throw more. Yeah. Big kablooey. I don't use Zelda nearly enough. Because all I know is if I go up to a wall, wall jump? I just start throwing icicles at everyone. Elsa, eat your heart out. That's what she does, right? She's an ice queen. I don't know. I've only seen my, my brother play the Frozen World of Kingdom Hearts. That's all I know. You want to do this again? We just went over this. You get icicle. He just, he wants to die like this. He just wants to die via Icicle Spam. Although, that didn't really, that didn't hit him a lot, did it? <laughs> I guess I was just a little off the mark. Cool. Whole bunch of crap I don't really need. Well, uh, let's see, I guess I, I'll just kill this wizard robe. He still got me with ice. He iced me. Get fatal frame, bitch. That did a lot of damage. I mean, I know Wizrobes aren't exactly the epitome of strong enemy. Okay, and look at that. Just He got walked into and died. That's unreserved for these small lads. Alright, have fun down here, Zelda. I'm going back to someone who is a ruthless killer. Someone's gotta get bombed. Friendly getting ghost speared wasn't enough. Playing Captain's injured. Where, where was this? I didn't see the thing on the mini map. This was by me. Like he got touched once, and it's like uh, he's injured. You got you gotta save this lad. But he's fine. Okay, so up. The north there is, is blocked off, so I can't get to that, so I guess we're just gonna go this way. It's a little sad to not have my uh, shield skateboard. Which I, I found out in my time playing this off stream that if you go downhill with the shield skateboard, you, uh, you go further, which is nice. Uh, are we on track for the final boss? It depends. It depends on what I do. Because I've been kind of doing the challenges off stream. Or at least like the last bout of challenges. So honestly, if I just skip all the challenges until I get like beat the game, because I know that there's no more characters to unlock via the challenges, uh, it's a possibility.
because I I unlock one character like for beating the game or at least in the last chapter and then there are two characters in post game also I've captured the outposts what do you want from me game oh, oh I see we had to bring Mifo over here because she needed to heal that wow. injured Hillian captain. He's faking it. Right. Oh, my dear fellows was in the Citadel. Why don't you open with that, man? No, oh, well, that's where we're going. I guess Zelda, you should probably get over here, huh? Why don't you just go hang out with with Linky Poo? Yeah. I think I like Guardians just electric everywhere over there. Silver Malvin, I think you're kind of neat. I don't think I've seen your subtype before. I'm assuming you do nothing special. That was the wrong way to do. I think three is good for ad clear, but not very good for weak point gauge break. Oh god! Like I hear that sound, and I'm like, I didn't hit my my A button. The classic Lucio move sound effect. This what was just blocked. Use Mifa to aid the soldiers. Okay. So I guess we're just playing as Mifa, which is fine. Whoa. Sorry, Wizrobe. You can't get away with that shit. That is not allowed. And now you just get rained on. Raining on your parade. I remember a layout like this screwed me up before. So I. Oh, Korok Seed. I forgot these frickers exist. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to factor into post game. Oh, man. Am I going to have to find all, all of them? I'm going to be really afraid if I have to find all of them. Alright, so let's do this. I don't know, that was kind of alright. I don't know if that, like, I think four might be the best uh, gauge melter. Nice. Do it again. This works too. No, that's right. You have to hit X for me, but it's so weird how, like, it's just not. Everyone's different. With, with what you can do. Some people will say hit X to attack, but you can still hit Y. Look, if Link can't protect that lad in there, that's not the Link I know. Alright, he's got a big stick. Good thing it's not pointed. So close. Alright, so I dodge into it. Not exactly the smartest thing I could have done. But it's worked for me before with other guys. So I was like, yeah, just just try that tactic. What? They, they wouldn't expect it, right? Why would you dodge in to the enemy? Alright, so I guess we'll just send Nifa to the next place. Say, I don't know what this game's trying to do to me. Are they gonna throw your axe, huh? 
Like, at least don't telegraph it so much, right? Court of Guardians, we're in the parade ground. Well, hopefully they don't come over here. But if they do, I will be fine. Now, you know, the, the saddest thing about all of this, right, is that I'll never be able to prove that I, I was pretty good at dodging stuff off stream. Because I, I never really know it's just like how much of a delay there really is on uh, the software I'm using. Like, it's fine enough for just general play, but man, when it comes to those, those very small window dodges, playing on the handheld, I was, I was ace in the exam. Person's good. I was special, special this lad. I don't know if the Guardians are just like being set up for like after this part or if they're going to slowly start encroaching onto my position. Uh, yeah, plugging a switch into a video card. Please. Yeah, like it really sucks because like I would love to just play on my, my, my second monitor, but the HDMI, I don't know if it's the HDMI port or the monitor or whatever, but it is so finicky to get working wow. that, like, half the time, like, it's it's not worth it. There's gonna be a Korok over here or something, right? You know, there may be one right where I stopped, because I saw a prompt pop up. Well, I had to rescue Robbie, huh? Why doesn't he save himself? Don't make me fight a guardian as Mifa. I'm not prepared for that. What did I just say? They don't pay me enough to do this. Yeah, fire. Do it. Okay, so I... Okay, cool. If you're just gonna give me the stasis, I'm cool with that. I'm not really cool with this camera angle. <laughs> it makes it hard to see and it's, it hurts. Now, I guess I might, have to, I might have to switch to Link here in a second. I don't know how long this fight's gonna take. Okay, cool. That forces a weak point gauge pop up. It's good to know. But you can also do the same thing if you do a wall jump attack. Please let me do the thing. Yeah. I wonder, does electricity make you go out? No, not really. Ooh, that did a lot of damage, whatever the hell that was. That was nice. Yeah. Shoot her! Okay, somehow I'll dodge that. I did a wall jump, too. Oh, this is kind of like a waste. It's almost a waste to have to use a Sheikah Slate Groovy on like a half bar. Oh, man, I didn't even think about the fact that you can just kind of spam. Now, can I just you know, stop comboing me? Man, okay, that was, that was unfortunate. Nice. You know, I guess to be fair, I could have brought someone else over here too. And not just have to do this fight as Mipha. 
But it's fine. Get Flurry Rush out of existence. Taking all that. So, are you gonna follow me or, or what? Oh, wait, no, because there's an enemy. Oh, yeah, Link's just fighting the Guardian. Doing a great job, Link. Really proud of you. Oh, I didn't count. Sad. Sorry. I could just start breaking its legs. Yeah. So I think if you break enough of its legs, it's just forced into weak point all the time. Maybe not all the time, but... A lot of the time. So confident in my ability that I'm flying to a text in mid gameplay. <laughs> You're gonna get up the roof at the same time to go to sleep. Right, so there's an enemy like way back there. Ah, nope. Okay, well, that worked. I'm usually afraid of uh of doing any other combo than the one I've been using. It's because I've had bad luck with with timing on some of them and what? Uh, otherwise just flying all the way over there when I need to be right here. Wow. Yeah, look at how strong that special is. Just killed both those moblins from like full health. That's a lot of enemy. Look, just give me, like, free special juice, and they're not a problem. Okay, never mind. I guess we got back up. I draw him to the bridge and destroy him with the Citadel cannons. Okay. Oh, that's a... No, I guess it's just the one. Oh, thanks, Daruk. Is that going to be enough to break? No. So close. Ow. Uh, this will finish you off, though. I like how Daruk is just so fat he can just push his Guardian. Made of, like, ancient rock and metal. And machine, just ancient machinery, he's just pushing it. With a bubble. Uh, the electric enemies are... Probably the bane of my existence, honestly. Alright, Hinox, you ready to do this? Nope. That was the wrong move. Easily telegraphed, easily countered. Let's do it. Three, it's like three or four hits to break that entire gauge. Why was he like, why was that still up there? It's actually kind of impressive. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna roll now. Nice. I thought I kinda like dodged too early. Oh, is there another one? There is. You know what? This should get both. And he might just straight up die from this last move. Yeah. Too early. <laughs> She's like clenching his cheeks. And the, is that why the weak point gauge came up? Ooh, not paying attention. Still got it though. Oh no. Oh, I got hit by like a, a moblin. It messed up my dodge. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Say hello to the maker for me. It's not about to go down there and kill all those guys. I appear so. So what is the best way to go about this? Go back through. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, as long as those guardians don't come through, I think we're fine. Whatever those big mean skulls are on the mini map. That is like at least four, it looks like. If they're all guardians, I'll be a little sad. Oh, there's also a whisper by here. Oh. Okay, okay, I should have watched them get Raffle alone. Thanks, Varuta. Ow. Ow. Oh, don't don't stay up there fly, please. I don't like flying guardian. I don't really have good anti-air. I don't know. Zelda might be my best anti-air, actually. I can just do my special too. Or actually, this is probably what this is good for. Uh, not necessarily. I do that again, though. No, I can't aim that far. Whatever. I guess I'll just bully the whiz robe. Because imagine being a whiz robe. Imagine being born. And you looked in the mirror when you were like three years old and you saw you were a whiz robe. But hey, you're down on the ground. Cool. Time to die. I hope. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, good night. Let's just try to grind up our special gauge a bit more. So we have one for whatever's next. The East of Akala Bridge. I can maybe do that. It's going to be for me to stop smashing people's skulls in. Like, like, why would I not take over this outpost? I thought I had a lot more KOs than I do. It's fine. I guess I have been fighting a lot of big enemies. That was probably just a wall jump prompt. Look, if you think I'm scared of goblins, you don't know who you're talking to. Calamity or not. Smash. I love the way his corpse just rolled into a, a wall. Alright, fine. I guess we'll go to the bridge now. Everyone's all talking about a bridge. Oh, I see. That's because we actually do be coming up pretty close, though. Hopefully I'm not too late. Oh, God. This is going to be like a thing where if I'm too late, the mission fails. I'm bringing back out the Twink Link. The truest... Like, most... Close to self link we've ever seen. Does everyone else have to be out here too? Yeah, how about you two just kind of go hang out over here? Oh, don't you roll her at me. I guess we're just gonna fuck this guy up real quick. That's what he gets. Yeah, it's like, oh, head east. But instead, what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna kill. Oh, these are. These are angry ones. Alright, so, like. Everyone's just gotta, like, come over here, right? Is that, is that what we're talking about? Yeah! Okay. Malice Cooper. I mean, he do be looking poisonous. Alright, cans are ready to fire, and then why aren't we shooting them? Why wait? I think I just got crushed by a giant comet. Comet? Cannon. Close enough. Well. 
I'm trying to, let's glide down the cliff. Who do you think? Oh, I like how like I jumped on like just a foot away. Now, this is it. This is like a final push, huh? Oh, it's a little Korok seed. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. I mean, they may as well be, right? You know, uh, Haley and his comments, he, there's so much cannonballs that he had laying around that he made. Okay, so... Oh, these guys are, like, really weak. Okay, stasis this one and then just... Wait for this one to... Thanks. Oh, man. I'm getting all the hot-footed frogs. One, two, three, four. Hopefully I'm not going to be too late on this one. Oh, God. Oh, why? Uh, it didn't do the thing. Feels bad, man. Oh, at least, look at that. See, I dodged into that one. It worked. Yeah, which one am I lock onto? This guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill this guy with chip damage. I bet that Malice Guardian was wishing that he pulled off Evil Moment 37 right now. I'm not even gonna let you fire that laser. That's how much I don't like you. Yeah, like, I, I had a moment a few streams ago where, like, I, I, I came to the realization that Lynels are a real thing in Breath of the Wild. And I was just like, I I don't want to do that. They're bad enough in this game. And imagine having to fight one of them uh, in Breath of the Wild. No thanks. <laughs> God, Link is just so far ahead of everyone just because I just, I just use him for everything. <laughs> Ooh, giant ancient cores. All right, let's see how many things I unlock after I get back to the main menu. I'm a little afraid about it, to be honest. There's gonna be yeah, I was gonna say oh, wait, no, no cutscene. That's interesting. Alright, so okay, next main mission. Yep, and there's all the quests. At least it's just the quests. And okay, there's some of that. Damn. That's a lot. Ah. Oh, that's a more. Okay, so let's see. Oh man, some of my characters are actually under level for this because they're not Link. It's fine. We can we can fix that. Yeah, no, yeah, no. We still have so this mission and then one more mission for chapter six, I believe. And I think there was one mission in chapter seven. There's no IP a few. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to recall the original Hyrule Warriors, but some of those missions went on for like. Like half an hour if you were trying to like take out all the outposts to like get everything. Maybe a little bit longer. And they were freaking brutal. Okay, so. Oh man, I I really hope I'm gonna have everything I need for most of these. There's two hearts for Link. Oh, so that's for the great sword. Oh yeah, nice. Nothing for Impa, nothing for Zelda, Mifa. Ah oh, damn, what is this? It's always Staminoka base, man. Always. All the better to help my friends. And go, Mifa. Enjoy your new hearts. Daruk, I... Look, I just, I just don't play Daruk. That's all it comes down to. The only character I actually don't like so far is uh, Riju. I love her seal. Seal's great. Uh, 
And she's good for killing the small guys, but she cannot 1v1 to save her life because she is so all over the fucking place. Oh, nice. Being good tonight. Nothing for Ravali. Nothing for Rabosa. Sidon, you have some stuff. I think there was something that was maybe for all allies. I swear I saw something that was... Oh, there we go. What's this? Ah, a 5% discount. The Hillian Blacksmith. Don't mind if I do, because the Master Sword's too damn expensive to... Uh, do the thing. Use. Wait, the merchant from Skull Lake has sent up Shami or Karakara Bazaar, but it's so cold at night that nobody visits. How about his business by trading in monster parts for his wares? Okay. I do be seeing again a new hat, though. A Moblin mask. Uh, we're going to have to check that one out in a minute. Ooh, meat pie. There is, a, there is no eye in team, but there is an eye in meat pie. We're, we're gonna just make fairy juice. A wonderful asset. Auto revive once after KO. Oh, okay, that's what it was. Damn it. Okay, so it's just weapon capacity plus two. And that's two things that require whatever that is. All right, so yeah, Sidon needed some stuff. Oh, bonus combo, good. That's probably the one I've been trying to do. Won't stop there. Ah, nope, it was just the light combo. No, why did they just give me something else? You can't lock other quests behind quests for different characters, man. And that's the kind of shit that gives me nightmares. There's still one thing I had. Oh, yeah. This is the one I can't do for Sidon. Uh, of course, I need to go get ancient shafts and cores. And honey. There's something else. I get something else for this. Besides the two bonus hearts. I got 5,000 rupees. Not bad. Not bad. Making it up. Okay, so. Uh, now we gotta buy a lot of stuff. I need shafts. Uh. Myself is one ancient core at a time, huh? Uh. Mm -hmm. What a joke. That? that guy could go walk through the battlefield I was just in and he'd have enough stock for about a month. <laughs> cool, so I need birthday waltz. Hi. How many of these fish you got? Only five? Ah. Ah. All these vendors. Terrible. Get out of my face. 15 Korok seeds and I only have 27. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start getting more of those, huh? Gotta hear us too. You. Do I have any rusted weapons? Mifa has a lot of weapons I could upgrade. All right, I guess who am I bringing with me? Zelda has to come with. And I have room for one more. Kinda wanna upgrade Mommy Urbosa. Haven't used her in a long time. <laughs> so how about we hit the gym? Get Zelda up to 50 at least. And we'll, we'll jump Urbosa up to 50 as well. They still want to hold the candle to Link, but... Oh, that's right. Oh, damn, I do be getting some of those things I want, though, from, from that. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna at least do this one. Man, you know, I, the Marble Helm's just too good. But that... That's alright. 
That's all right. It doesn't say anything. Where do monsters appear in the group? Desert restore peace of the desert between all the monsters. I mean, that's all I know how to do. But I should be careful about what uh, what I be eating here, because so I don't want to eat that thing that I need, which is fine because I didn't have enough for the damage plus seven anyways, probably. Man, why is it already 12.30, I asked myself, as I sat here not streaming for most of the day, and I was like, yeah, I should stream. It's fun how time works. I mean, I guess to be fair to myself, I was uh, entirely anxious. The only thing I could cure that was playing... Playing golf exciting on guitar ad infinitum until I decided I'm going to hit that damn button. <laughs> All right, Moblin. Not a good opening move for you. If you come over here before I kill your friend, we're going to have issues. Uh, okay, I think there was a tree there. Okay, good. <laughs> I just got that. Look, on land, that would have been a, do a perfect dodge. That's all I'm going to say. Ow. This only grew down as fine as me. I mean, they let us in earlier. Oh, yeah, that's some stairs. But I guess to be fair, it was just a dude pretending to be Urbosa. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're Zelda's convoy. Nice. Okay, so we're, there was a lot of things on that. So, like, how long is this mission going to be, actually? That's what I want to know. You know, I'm kind of like... I, I, I've been like really like, I guess, hyper-focusing this game on stream because I'm only playing this game on stream. You know, at least the main story stuff, of course. M maybe what I, I just need to like find out what I'm doing next. And maybe, I don't know. Like, I, I mean, that's not going to help my main problem I'm having right now with all this. What did you pick up? I should really try to figure out what my next thing is or whatever. Like, I have, like, so many games that I want to play. But, like, I, I look at a game and I'm like, that's going to be something I do videos on or stream. And then I don't do that. So, like, I just, like, never really play those games. <laughs> It's really unfortunate. And I mean, the easy you know, answer there, right? Is like, well then just stream if you want to stream it. But that ain't easy. It's easy being cheesy because you eat like half a bag of puffy Cheetos and then you feel like an absolute fucking lard ass. Where you're like, that was pretty good. But man, hitting that star stream button sometimes, I just stare at it. And then I circle the drain from my own brain. Drain gang. Oh, look, you both can't shoot lasers at me at the same time. It's not kosher. Especially when you hit me through that. Oh, okay, you want a stasis? We can dance. Gotta try and reconcile what's popular with Sparks Joy. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, it doesn't help that, like,. I don't know. It doesn't help that I am me, and I got all these these juices and chemicals in my brain that sometimes are, are totally with me, but then most of the times against me. And you know, sometimes that little nagging voice in the back of your head 
Oh god, why did I not block? That tells you you should have got a cheeseburger three years ago and not the the, the chicken sandwich, you know? That shit just eat, eats at you, you know? And you listen to that, you listen to that bastard, not the guy who was like, that was a pretty good burger, though. And now I just want burgers. Ugh, I, I wish we didn't live in a hellscape so I can go out and get burgers. Because none of the places, I mean, like, I could get, like, a Chili's burger, right? Or something from, like, DoorDash. But that ain't Five Guys. That ain't Five Guys. That ain't Smash Burger I went to that one time. That was pretty good. And, I mean, look, you know, there's a time and place for a Big Mac, right? Or, like, a Wendy's burger. But Wendy's got rid of the, the barbecue cheeseburger, which is, like, my favorite thing to get there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bitch, and, like, you know, the really unfortunate thing is just... There's really not much... Like, no matter how how much your rational thoughts are, like... Like, bro, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. You know, you didn't realize that they were wearing a blue shirt when you said it was purple, right? It doesn't matter how many times you say that, and you know that. That, that, that other guy's just fucking sitting there giving, you know, just... Grinding your, your, your head down to the bone. Just, that, that's a... That's not Nookie. Nook, Nookie's the other thing Limp Bizkit saying about. But you know, it, it just it fucking sucks. And you know, you, all we can do is just tell ourselves, nope, that, that ain't real, that ain't true, man. And then eventually, we'll kick it for a little bit. Much like I'm about to kick this giant sandworm. Come out of the ground, you gelatinous bastard. Uh, bomb. I, mean, I really love this theme. This is a good theme. Oops. Here, let me just drop that combo. You know, I'll, I, I already made a reference to Evil Moment 37. I'll do it again. Like, we, we need our rational part of our brain to be, da you know, Dago. No, no HP. Blocking every single bit of that super of, of, of Jay Wong. You know that that's the rational side of our brain. We need to parry that shit and then come through and come from no health to to beat Nass from that that half H half HP rational thought side. Bicycles for Molduga. Oh, oh no, I got fucking creamed. Smash. smash. Talking smashy bashy. And talk about games I bought it. Not necessarily regret, but. I don't know. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's a game. But man, I, I am just not a fighting game a player. I love watching them, though. Even if it's a party game like Smash. Oh, that's right. There's a new Smash documentary out. I should watch that. And that was the last thing. That was a old dude. Wanna be Nibble Snarf? Am I gonna hit the funny number? No. Only like a quarter of the way through that level. Material drop rate from grass. That's a thing. <clears throat> I can really justify my purchase of, of Smash Bros. as part of the game. Same thing with Mario Kart. Yeah, like for me, like I don't know. Like I got really excited when Ultimate came out. Because, I mean, I don't know. I, Nintendo did a fantastic job marketing that game. Or, you know, like, all the pre-release stuff. And it really got me excited. But, like, I don't know. Like, I really just don't really... Like, I like, I played a lot of story stuff. Like, my brother and I, like, sat down and did a, lot of, a whole lot of co-op story stuff. But, like, I don't know. It's just otherwise not really for me. I won't stop there. But it's like, you know, I feel like I bought the game, so, like, I need to play it. 
But I, I'm definitely not going to do online because Nintendo's online is something else. Uh, not good is, you know, not even, that, that's like sugarcoating it to like the, well, no, no, no. I'd be saying if it was complete dog shit, that'd be sugarcoating it. <clears throat> but I mean, I also, I don't want to hang out with people that often, especially nowadays. Also, when I was a kid, I freaked out over Melee, so I smash because we lived up to that hype. <clears throat> Melee was fucking good, though. There, there was so much stuff in Melee for if you didn't, you know, play a lot of, like, competitive stuff, right? Like, all the, you know, like, the adventure mode was always really fun, no matter how many times you played it, at least for me. And then the, the all-star mode's fun. And then what was, like, you had, like, the whole list of challenges. Like, that stuff was great. And, like, little, like trophy like yo you know gamble this stuff away and see what trophy you get that stuff is so good all right so yeah that's right mommy Urbosa. sorry i can't use Urbosa for the stage uh my dreams my ambitions all right mm, let's use your overwhelming positivity side on yeah, yeah, no, I, I am thinking uh, melee, because it had all those things. Like, because like Brawl had the subspace emissary, which, which is cool, but nothing beats that that just fifteen to twenty minute little thing there uh, of like an adventure mode in melee. And like then yeah, like there was the challenges, and then there was the whole. I don't know. I just remember playing melee a fucking lot. Yeah, I don't, like, the, a lot of the, like, story, well, I can't think of the thing, like, the classic mode, like, a lot of that's, like, fine, and then, like, you have a lot of things that's like, oh, here's a stamina battle, which is cool the first few times, and then you're kind of like, man, I fucking hate stamina battles, at least I did. Let me just project onto everyone here. <laughs> Let me project onto you, Danger, you hate stamina battles, too. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, because I guess nowadays you can be like, oh yeah, it's gone online, so like, you can fill this void with online stuff. <clears throat> I, mean, I, I, for <laughs> I forgot about like Smash Brothers for Wii U. That was a thing as well. I was wondering how much of it is the fact that I made mean, it was my first rodeo every Smash game since that, or since feels like old old hat. I mean, like I don't know, because like you know, I I played. You know, Smash 64, which was just a, you know, I was a, a fucking young kid at the time, so of course it was fun, right? You know, just playing with, like, my brother and my cousin and stuff and uh, getting my ass whooped. Um, Let's dive right in. Still movement speed, I guess. But no, there, there was something about oh, Melee indeed. that, like, even looking back now, it, it, it sits on the top of, of the totem pole of Smash games. Working together. There's just something about it that feels so good to play. And there's just so much in it that whether or not you want to actually, you know, play against your friends or just have like a nice little like solo experience. There, there's something there for everyone. But Pura had also escaped the laboratory, making her way to Fort Hateno in the Cluda. The stronghold, however. Yo, why do those two guys on the left look like they're Hillix or something? Link and the others departed promptly for Fort Hoteno. But who would quell the ceaseless onslaught of guardians pouring onto Hyrule Field during this time? Even theme design-wise, it's by far my favorite. Yeah, like... I mean, you know, I guess a lot of it could be nostalgia, right? That could be a lot of it, but like... Oh, there's just something about that package as a whole that no Smash game has, like, really been able to, like, recapture that that amount of lightning in a bottle. There she be.
You needn't sound so defeated. Together we'll put a stop to it. But how? Look how many there are. All their bosses gotta do is just give one little snap. And they're fucking dead. I would likely have died if it wasn't for your courage. But I'm still here. And Naboris still has its pilot. I'd wager nothing can stop us. We will triumph. Hm. Exactly. Well then, let's begin. Will you take my hand? Yes. <laughs> so just gonna fucking throw that kid. It's like, get in there. All right, time for more of this. I really hope this is another one where it's just like, hey, go, go over here, because I'm just gonna rush to it. Electrify, please. Mm. Defeat every guardian. Okay, well, there's three. And then there's all those guys getting fucked. Um, I forgot how this one works. Oh, yeah, just a big old area of effect. Well, okay, that was six or seven. So that's our own thing earned again when we're stroking these guys. But what do you think they got the idea from? They time traveled to this period of time, and then they went back to the uh, 19, 1800s, wherever that stuff came out. And they're like, yep, sign it. I'm about to run them all over. And they're just the first first wave, never mind. But I already have 5,000 KOs, and all I've done is like hit the run button twice and then held this down. Why even waste my time doing that when I can just ZR? Sir Joseph Camel Knight of the Flaming Spear. Hey, who hit me? You're gonna get the Flaming Spear. Can I do this again already? Yes, I can. Is that gonna be it? Probably not, because it's still talking. Look at the cash. Huge guardian forces appeared. Well, that sucks to be them. Camel, 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 camel centaur. Man, okay, so like. Man, you know, like being a horse centaur is already like. I don't know, kind of unfortunate enough. But imagine like you're you're a human and then just all of a sudden, like, right where your lower back begins, you just have a giant hump. That seems really unfortunate. Well hey, you know, I don't know much about D D, but I'm assuming you have to like keep up your you know, like your food and your water. If you're a camel, like camel. Camel centaur. You won't have to hydrate for like, like you'll be really good. You'll have a lot of water. Hey, scientists working on the Manhattan Project. Yeah, it's me, your cousin, Marvin Manhattan. Yeah, well, you know that new weapon destruction we're looking for? Well, get a load of this. Is the weapon of destruction the antenna that flung me in fucking cyberpunk? <laughs> Joe and I were playing a bit of Apex earlier, and before we started, like, I'm like, Joe, I did, like, this just happened to me, and I'm gonna see if I can make it happen again. And I fucking did it again. Joe already beat the game, by the way, too. Like, he already beat the main story, and I was just like, okay, dude. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's having fun. That was, like, his first time playing a game like that. I saw the achievements rack up and up. Yeah, because like, like I was talking to him, and he's like, "Yeah, I already beat the game." I'm like, wait, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, this is his uh, first overworld RPG. Well, not. I mean, he's played some other ones, but like this is his first kind of in this style. You know, kind of like like Fallout, Oblivion, Cyberpunk, stuff like that. This is his first in that.
I mean, these enemies can't. I mean, like, that guy can. Yeah, like, if, if, if there were, like, certain other enemies, this would be terrible for me. Yeah, no, he's never played Elder Souls. Never really been his thing. Also, out of curiosity, Mike, the only thing that's a threat is the timeline. Yeah, pretty much at the, in this stage. Uh, did you pick male or female for for V? Damn. Okay, yeah. Now, now this is a problem because they're like really far away. Be the female. Damn. You like you get you get to. I, I can't do the the romance I want to do because I'm a male, and it feels bad, but it's fine because. My my choice now. We, we, he's like this. Does <laughs> such Keanu Reeves? I mean, look, Keanu Reeves told me that my penis sucks. He basically may as well have told me I have a fucking micro penis. Is what he said to me. Oh yeah, yeah. There there do be some romance in that game, and uh, you have to be a female with a. Uh, female voice in order to romance one of the characters. And I was just like, I was kind of like, yeah, like, this girl is fucking cool. And then I found that out, and I was like, well, shit. But it's fine. <laughs> Look, I picked penis, too. Yeah, but, but it's really, really good customizing your character in the game. Because... Uh, we're assuming they're talking about the same girl. I don't know. Uh, if you're talking about the one I wanted to romance, that I couldn't, probably. But like, I, I sent, I sent Aaron a Snapchat of just me like <laughs> going between small and big for for the uh, the schlong size. That was good. It's just like. Shoop. Mm. Also, <laughs> that feel when you when you look at the small schlong size and it's still bigger than yours feels bad, man. <laughs> feels fucking awful, man. <clears throat> yeah, so... Depending on what happens, like sometimes your your schlong can clip through your clothes, and uh, the, the 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 babas can also clip through shirts. Like honestly, like I've only had like two like bad bugs in that game that have been like actually problematic, but all the other bugs that I've had have just been like the wacky shit. Like I, I scanned a guy and he walked around the corner, and then he just started immediately t posing. Uh, a character walked through a door and like clipped halfway through it and then the lockers he also walked through started freaking the fuck out. I uh, did a non-lethal takedown on a guy and then when I dropped his body he like hit his head on a pole and just fucking like exploded into chunks. I was like, I didn't do that. <laughs> that was him who, who did that. I didn't make that blood. explosion that somehow rotated 90 degrees upwards and clicked into the ground. <laughs> With animated NPC still inside it. That's good. Uh, out of curiosity, Mike, how far into the game are you? Have you... I, I don't know. Like there, there's, there's Act One, and then when that ends, there's what I call intermission before Act Two starts. Are are you at least in Act Two? Because like I haven't really got that far in the in the game. Working to stem the never-ending flow of guardians. Okay, so taking advantage of the opening Abosa had provided. 
Link's party began uh, the assault. Oh yeah, so you you should the periphery of Fort you, you should have already seen the scene where like you get into your car and the other car just like kind of <laughs> rolls up and hits you and then drives off. I'm assuming you've seen that. So I, I think yeah. Yeah, so when I don't know what happened with you, but when that happened to me, uh they hit another car and that car was just on top of th that car and they just drove off. <laughs> this is a big map. Big map, I'm going to take a big nap. Do it through that whole story, don't you? Um, yeah, because I, I don't know, at least in in my thing, it was just like a whole automated thing, pretty much. Like, it was like they hit it and I got the message, and then I don't know, after like a few in game days, I got that car back, even though I already had. Uh, I, I bought a vehicle, but I also got another vehicle from another mission. Which. I, I don't. You know, it's all like we. I, I don't know exactly how much you've done, but there's one thing that, that happened in my playthrough that, like, was really. I don't know, like, it's stuff like that that I think, like, kind of makes this game for me. It's just, like, the way that it handled that subject matter. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've gone to the shop to talk to, to Delamain. I just got... I just kind of, like, started doing other shit. Uh, I don't... Well, I mean, you've done the heist. So it's about a character there. I won't say anything for anyone else who may be here who hasn't played the game who may want to. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you picked for that option, uh, but that that the mission I got after doing that uh, for picking my option uh, was was a really nice side mission. Oh damn it! I missed the dodge. I got hit by a corpse. Oh, that's what I got you. Yeah. And just like the, the whole everything about it was just really good. And like a, a lot of the. Like when, when you get. When you get offered the. Uh, the motor having thing. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's, it's good enough. Like when you. Like, I don't know. The way that that. Like that too. I was like, I'm like. That's fucking good. But... So, so what I'm doing, I'm eating Hillian Cathans. Like, I kind of want to explore the map, but I also just kind of want to... Big dick the rest of this here. What time is it? 1 a.m.? Okay, yeah. It's... I ain't being this tonight. Oh, got a fire Lionel. I thought there was a Moblin who was just bent really weird. I wish it was a fire Moblin. Davis. Fully submersed. I feel like I am the old most of the city. I still think a lot of gender and you know, identity in that regard are like really not as considered as it could be. Yeah, I, uh, I, I get that. I don't know. Every time I get too deep into that, I, I walk into an area and it's like. Hey, V, I got this gig for you. Go kill this guy. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. No, you're still not dead yet, you chump. Yeah, but if, if anything, I'm just glad that I am, for the most part, a well-adjusted human who didn't go around for Cyberpunk 2077 as a game that would make you see God if you're an atheist and went into it as a, a person who enjoys your games and said, yeah, 
this will probably be a fun game because I'm I am having a lot of fun with it. Uh, icicles. And like, well, I think you still have like a, a 1070. I don't know what kind of performance you're you're getting in that game, but let me tell you, having an RTX card and being able to use DLSS is such a fucking game changer. Like DLSS is, it used to be really shit, but like the the second iteration of it is just so incredibly top notch. Like it's like literally almost a fucking cheat code for for graphics. Oh, this game can fucking use some resolution scaling. I'll tell you that. Oh, no, I gotta come all the way over here to kill guardians. Like walking around seeing the family and soft drink mask have also as we take a seat, the balls and things kind of weird angle. Yeah, you, you won't get it because DLSS is only for RTX enabled cards. Um, however, Digital Foundry did do a video about like optimized settings, which I have a screenshot of I can send you. And like, especially with DLSS on, like, it's fucking mint. But yeah, no, I, I get that. Oh, yeah, like, I'm not saying like, oh, it seems like shit, but it's just like, when, with, with like, you know, with DLSS, ooh, cutscene. Um, like I said, I just have it like on the balance preset, <laughs> but like, it's just kind of like, you know, the way that it reconstructs the image is just so convincing. Oh yeah, dude. Xbox one and PS4. Like I feel, I, I think, I, I don't know if it's true, but I heard something that like Sony's like actually giving out refunds for digital versions of Cyberpunk 2077 on PS4 because of how bad it runs. Oh, that's hairy. <laughs> And, like, and surprisingly, the Xbox Series S, like, kind of is the most consistent as far as, like, uh, performance goes on, like, newer consoles. It's kind of funny. Hey, I don't have that sword. Uh, is that fucking Vati? Oh, right. I kind of forgot that Vati was, a uh, that, that was Minish Camp, right? Yeah, I think that was Minish Camp, right? No, that, that should still be, uh, Astos. Man, you know, I'm gonna be real upset if, if these aren't just for fun, uh, Hyrule Warriors, uh, other Ganons. And if I have to fight a gut, like, dual gun-wielding Ganon in Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> Look, Link doesn't need help. Oh, she got her power! She did the thing! That light! Whoa! Blinding light! Well, this is more than a fucking Kamiyami, ah. That, that's, that's what they call a spirit bomb, right? Magic missile! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's the thumbnail, boys. Uh, I need to come back. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, uh, Mike, or, or uh, about not being a Legend of Zelda game in your life, yeah, Breath of the Wild is like, I mean, like that. That's kind of the nice thing about Zelda is that, like, most, at, like, every Zelda game, unless it's like, you know, like Link. Uh, Ocarina of Time to, like, Majora's Mask, or, like, Link to the Past to, like, even to, like, Link Between Worlds. Like, everything's just really, like, while there, while there is, like, over, overarching, you know, things, right? Like, you always have, like, like, in each iteration of Hyrule, there's always going to be a Death Mountain, you know, there's always going to be, like, a Kakariko, you know, like, you, you have, like, these things that are kind of consistent between games, where, like, things will change 
between games. So like, you, it's not really kind of like, you know, you need lore. Like, like the fucking timeline situation of Zelda is just stupid. It's like you have like three branching paths where it's like hero wins, and then you have like these games, and then like you know the hero loses, then you have these, and then like there's some other one. Like the timeline's really fucked, and like but like I said, that's a really nice thing is that everything's kind of standalone. Like you know, like so I think like Skyward Sword supposedly like the first thing or whatever, like the first game. But like you know, you could literally go play, you know, Zelda one and then like jump over and play twilight princess and it's not really going to matter because it's just they're all like their little self-contained things that have like a little bit of bleed over right <clears throat> so it's kind of nice in that regard you don't have to like fucking play every last thing in order to get to it all uh i know they made that huge historical tome for legends all the time and it's just straight things out <laughs> it, it officially strained things out to like to only have like you know, be like a straight line, and then it was kind of like, bing, 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 you know, but yeah, I, I get what you mean. Oh, that's a big old laser, oh, that's just dead. No, also, shout outs to the rebel that was free now, Link's family, including his appearances and shit like Rocker. Yes. Ooh, look at you. I mean, hey, in Breath of the Wild, there's a DLC that gives Link a fucking motorbike, so I mean, yeah, why? <laughs> who says he can't drive a BMW? <laughs> Breath of the Beamer. Oh, whoa, wait, yo, I just realized that. Oh, yeah, wait, oh. <gasps> Zelda's got a new gun. <laughs> new weapon. She's got, a, she's got the, the light arrows and shit now. Well, don't get me wrong, her Sheikah Slate thing was pretty cool, but this excites me. Oh, hell yeah. Stasis. I wonder if her things are going to work the same. Uh, Get fucked, dude. Yeah, right? Like, Zelda was for the most part fine earlier in the game. <clears throat> but now she's just wearing, like... Like, she was taking a shower and then they're like... Yo, Princess, you gotta come see this right now. So she just, like, took the, the shower curtain and was like, Alright, well, this is what I got, I guess. Okay, so we got a capture outpost. Link, you go here. Side on, you go here. <clears throat> Release power enabling instant. I don't want to alarm you guys, but Zelda is literally levitating right now. This is fucking insane. Bard. I can be a bard. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, the. It's a regular, like, blue outfit. It would have been totally fine still. Uh, you want to get stasis again, huh? Can I please do a strong attack? <laughs> I like hit the button, right? Get me out of this crazy world. Okay. So I think that also uses my uh, special meter. Yeah, I know that after you beat the game, you have to end up like collecting 50 pieces 
of something to get a new character, which is a thing. Okay, Zeldor, why don't you go ahead and start making the move down there? Okay, so we're gonna have to switch to Zelda and go help this guy out, I guess. Because is that Battlefield? Mm, it's just a Fort Athena Falls. Okay, so. Link, you go over here. I'll take over, Link. Link snap. Dude, you're getting beat up by a stall moblin. Are you kidding me? I love this. Just the Zelda levitating is, is is peak good. Again? Oh, thank God this is gonna get them both. No, you're just you're not going to. You're not going to. You fucking wouldn't. Ah, it might be smart to call Link over here. Yeah, the main captain is fucking correct. Like, they've been blowing the shit on me forever. Now, a little strange, though, is that in this game, they forewent the the usual Lucio game thing of, like, if one of these captains gets low, or, like, an important person gets low in health, there'd usually be, like, a, a giant radius around that if you touch it, it would heal them. Please break. Just fucking annihilated. If you're complaining again, Captain. Oh no, it's another one. Oh yeah, this is okay. This guy definitely has a right to complain. Oh, uh, I. I don't know what I just did, but... Is this gonna work? Yes. Now. Okay, I'm just gonna bomb you so I break your weak point gauge. How about that? I don't play these guys like a damn fiddle. Oh, nice. Damn, breaking their legs is. I think that is, like stops them dead in their tracks. Ours. Oh, I see Zelda's said fuck those captains and went her own way. I dig it. Yeah. Do you side on? You got frozen immediately. Side on's fun. He's overly optimistic. Boom. Oh, fuck, they're over at the fort. Okay. Link, you need to go to the fort, brother. Oh, there's a fucking Lionel over there. Yeah, Link, you need to double time that shit. Okay, dude, just fucking look at me. Just look at me, pretty boy. This game is still incredible. I need to be with my camera over the game display child and play whatever Dynasty Warriors game that had an elephant mounts the selling point. Uh, so Dynasty Warriors 1 and 2 were, at least I think 2, Dynasty Warriors 1 for sure was a funny game, which you should remember. We, we played that for a little bit during that glorious stream, which is still, there's still highlights of on my channel. Uh, but 
Yeah, Dynasty, like, I don't know if there wasn't three per se, but I know from, like, Dynasty Warriors 4 on, there is a character who has an elephant as a mount. At the least, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I mean, that night that was a really packed day of, of games, though. So like, that's fair. Like that was just like banger after banger. Ergies, uh, enter the ring or whatever the fuck that game was. With, like, a fighting game that has Final Fantasy VII characters and, like, a dungeon crawler as well. I was, what was the one that was so slowly focused on weapons? Bushido Blade? Yeah, dude. Fucking Bushido Blade. Incredible game. Yeah, Bushido Blade, you, you selected a weapon and you could get, like, one-hit kills. And then there was a, a first-person mode. I think in the... I don't remember the first one had, but the second one had it for sure. Okay, and then, yeah, Transformers Beast Wars, the fighting game. And then we played that uh, that Gundam Wing fighting game, and then I mentioned Richie Branson in the, the, the description he commented on the video, which is hilarious. Okay, and then Bio Freaks. Side on. And then we played uh, Soul Edge. The not. The Soul Calibur and everything but name. And then we played Star Wars Masters of Terrace Cassay or whatever. Oh yeah, dude, Bloody Roar was so great. What a fun fighting game that was. And then we can't forget uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, uh, I was kind of remembering, like, man, where did Dang Dong come from? Yeah, that's right. And I think you can, like, buy a fucking beanie that says that, too. happen Let's play what games reminds you of the Super game I'm looking for. Alright, well what you've been looking for? Maybe it can it can ring a bell in one of our brains. We can Google gamer this together. Well it's not being a Google gamer, it's just Google game. Trying to get a copy of the demo disc for Legend of the Gaia on the PS1. Hmm. That's looking just a demo. Oh, fuck, you know. Let me take a look back here. I don't remember if. I don't know if I still have it, but I'm pretty sure I had a game that had a demo for it. Let me check my PS1 games real quick. And just for the sake of it all, I'll put it on full cam. Some stuff I gotta take down from here. Real quick though, gotta, gotta give a shout out to my girl Lena for, for telling me that this came in one day. Fucking love this. All right, so unfortunately, do not have it, but I definitely used to own it somewhere, but it was dumb as shit as a kid. They basically wrote a unique story just for the demo. You know, I'm sure. Like, I, I will, I, I will take a look in places, uh, and if I find that, I will, I will message you. Uh, 
Uh, shout out to Selena, shout out to the Big Box Space of Doom, shout out to the... <laughs> yeah, dude. Club Doom is great. Yeah, what's funny, uh... Lena actually messaged me yesterday on Twitter because she was asking she what she was ended up looking for was she was looking for like the Rockcock 64 Spider-Man videos because back when we used to speedrun Battlefront 2, we ended up finding those. And so like she was like, oh like remember like someone who made like these like Spider-Man 2 machinima things? And I was kinda like, ah, it doesn't really ring a bell, but I'll look through it. I ended up finding a whole lot of like great old videos though. And then I was just kind of like, yeah, the only thing that really, like, rings the bell is Rock Hawk 64. <laughs> oh, man. Dr. Connor's class. I was so busy with what I was doing, and I, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> uh, man, I'm actually kind of taking a bit of damage here. I still have to get this last thing, huh? All right, Zeldor. Time for you to get your wings. Oh, God. I wish I didn't come over here, dude. Fucking rain down from the heavens. Uh, Stasis. Pink. <laughs> that could have been really bad. USA of a gamer fell on a bowling shirt. What's his name? Is it like, uh, not Brad? Brad. Th that that look sounds familiar. Oh, Shane. Okay, never mind. Not who I thought it was. <laughs> Strain Forty Two. You talking uh, the the marijuana? This episode has 700 views. <laughs> so an underground man. I mean, those those magazines used to be so sick. Back in like that time, the PlayStation, Dreamcast, PS2, Xbox, GameCube. You know, shout out to the fucking pre-order bonus for the for uh, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker being like perhaps one of the best things in video games. Now, okay, switching to Link here because this lady's got a fucking death wish. Wanna play it was a uh, Toroyus. Toroyus are us pro and just for the handful of downs because I don't see one. Oh, no, no, you can't show up here. That's illegal. Get fucking aid button, bitch. Boom. What is he doing? You're going fucking hog wild, brother. going on here? Jesus Christ. Uh, stands out because it still, still has basically a chapter of standard JRPG story, but the character counts are running the fact that they're in a demo. <laughs> Ow. Please stop. No more wombo combos. Don't fucking walk up so lean down smash me either. Holy brother. Ow. Okay, fine. You are getting put the fucking time out. Okay, he moved. He moved. Okay. When I'm in town, because we're in the demo version. I love shit like that. Ah! Sorry, I'm still trying to bring you to the side. I'm trying to watch this video because this guy brought in the fellow with your some commentary and he should have has an open card in the You who on top of his PC. <laughs> Oh, God, you know, funny you bring up Yoo-Hoo. There was a guy in uh, one of our Apex games, Joe and I earlier, who was called uh, Chocolate Milk Bong Water. And Joe just said, isn't that just Yoo-Hoo? <laughs> no, Ganon. 
Stop. It's gonna fucking shoot me. Yeah, how about we just hold hold your horses on the shooting me business? Nice card. Man, I this is punishment. Like honestly, like this mission is punishment for like streaming so late. It's like, oh here you go, here's a fucking like three year long stage. What do you need, Ganon? Bomb. Yahoo. Oh, there's too much shit here. I need a special, and I need it yesterday. Ow. Yeah, my... I was, uh... I was playing Warframe with my buddy Joe when that came out. So he got the play-by-play -play of every song as I listened to it. And it made me sound like I was, like, going and fucking sane sometimes. I liked it until Fantano told me it was a 4 out of 10, now I don't like it. Oh, oh damn, you met Neil before. Do tell, do tell. Oh, there's a cutscene. I should probably get out of the way, huh? <laughs> Put it together for an art exhibit thing. Yeah, you can call it modern art, all right. Do I even worry about fucking up this guardian? Oh, why no? I think he's chill. Nothing we do to stop it. No, oh, no, Malice Guardian. The only thing in, that has the word Malice in its name that I want to hear right now is Malice Miser. Uh. What's what's that thing called? Uh, I don't know. Asterisk. I, I I've heard Malice before, but that was like 15 years ago. I don't remember. I don't remember much. Or I just know they exist. All right. Yeah, the people there could watch the screen as the music was being played, and then choose gifts to then paste on screen as music goes. You can also put together a mouth album for the event. And the is about not being the sound like you did a lot of the work recently. <laughs> Uh, like he still said he had some like B sides from Mouth Dreams. I wonder if he'll ever like when he'll release those. This should be the last one we have to do for this lad. That'd be incredible piss at some point in that line, so I don't mind. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because like, I don't know, from, uh, from Mouth Moods, uh, who? That, that would, that's probably like my favorite of the B-sides. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I would, that'd be a treat. Oh, I'm the funny level for Link. Time to stop playing him. Man, I'm so glad Zelda has a new weapon. Ooh, plus 10% EXP and plus 10 material drop rate. That's how we get the big money. Everyone, hear me now. 
<laughs> Look at that, I just kept his arm up. With Calamity Ganon now awakened, here we stand at the threshold of the unimaginable. Despite that, we must not give in to defeat. We must not despair. We must stand and fight. Yeah. I will wield the divine beasts and their champions. We are armed with the knight whose sword will seal the darkness. And we shall strike with you, you brave soldiers. Everyone. You Not gonna lie. To Every time I see the word father spelled like that, I just think of Rhapsody of Fire. We'll be sealed away forever. One of their like 20 minute long epics. Power. There's a spot where, you know, one of the characters is thinking to his dad. He's like, Father! Stand well, not like exactly like that, but close enough. Begin our march. Hyrule's fight to rescue all within it is now. Rather than having a hole in her head. Five holes in her head. Well, then, what did you want to tell me? <gasps> Jump good. I like the idea of just him jumping. Yeah. He jumped all the way out there just a face smack, like face plant. Yeah, that's another thing that happened too since uh, one of the last streams is Astos was going to use Suga and Master Koga as a blood sacrifice for Clam to Ganon and they're like, uh, hey, how about no? So, we should have just unlocked Master Koga. Maybe they'll come after this next mission. Yeah, Master Koga, top banana of the Yiga clan. Uh. That's a lot of icons, man. And they don't stop coming. And I have to do more Divine Beast missions? Now, you know, I make these noises, right? I'm currently actively making these noises. Uh, and just think, an Ubisoft open world game looks even more than this. Uh, no, unfortunately, there is no romance. Uh, that, I believe, is maybe... Yeah, improve all allies stuff. Ooh, damn, bonus ESP earned from enemies. Oh, no! Oh, lads. Lads, this hurts. Oh, this is... I, right now, I'm feeling almost the same way as, like, I just ate a whole bunch of Chinese food. And I feel fucking terrible. Minus me being really full. But this is, like, the same exact kind of look. And... and feel that I feel right now. Oh no. Whoa. Nice earrings. Real real Uh Okay, so I could do missions, right? To at the very least get the fish. Um the the first one, the Korok seeds there. I have to find those in missions, and they're hidden. Uh, which is Breath, like Breath, Breath of the Wild has like hundreds, literal. I think I think it's at least hundreds. I don't know if it goes into the four digits, but there's there's like three digits worth of Korok seeds to find in Breath of the Wild. 
Uh, and then the the honey, I don't know if I can find in missions as well, but I always have to buy it, but you can only buy so much per time you come back. So that's a thing. I mean, that I can just buy right now. I don't know if I'll have enough, but I can buy it. But, you know, oh my god. That's right. That's right, right, right. Oh man, I, I kind of wish I streamed this one. There was actually a, a challenge mission that literally, it's about Hestu throwing in a dance competition. And you have to fight a bunch of, like, captains in this, you know, this dance-off as you beat them up. And then Hestu's the final encounter in that. Yes, give me... Oh, I guess it is rice. Wow. Seafood job. rice balls. A lot of damage with the Shikarun. It's hip the fuck bees. Speaking of that, uh, a few weeks ago I was conditioning end caps at work, and that hey. song came on, and I immediately laughed out loud and just started, like, the store was fucking dead, so I just started uh -huh. singing that out loud. Felt good. Oh man, don't tell me the person who's selling... Uh, no, that's here. What was it coming here anyways for? I don't even fucking remember. Doesn't matter. Ooh. Gain ability to incre increase weapon max level. You fucking kidding me? A wonderful it's hip to fuck, bees. You see, that's what I love to see. I need those two fucking things. Smithing's best of the best have gathered. You can now raise the maximum level of weapons at the healing. So, what about, just more shit. No, nothing's max level. Man, how much can I do that though? This game's gonna give me a fucking heart attack. I'll be real with you. Amazing! Oh. Alright, that's two. Yeah, you, you got that. Oh, fuck, I need more honey. Night's Gauntlet. Ooh, special attack H plus one. The spear is so busted. Like, uh, having three is uh, actually unfair for the enemy. How many rupees do I even have left? It's a good question. Oh, Zilla's got so much, because she's got to level up the Bow of Light now. I've done it. Sorry, I put my mouse on my phone. My other mouse. You know, I find it funny, like, everyone, like, according to, like, things I've seen, the G Pro Wireless supposedly has, like, the lowest battery life of all the wireless mice, but... I have not had to charge this mouse in the amount of times I've had to charge my my Razer Viper Ultimate like five or six times. Like it just hit two dots today. It seems I've grown stronger. Mmm, so much. Right, so the two bonus hearts, the least of my concerns, I wanna max out these combos right now. Joint train with the Gerudo. I refuse to be anything less than capable. It seems I've grown stronger. You know, I I sometimes wonder to myself when it's the middle of the night. What if I didn't have to go to work? What if I could just stay home and just get paid to stay here? You know, like I'm doing everyone a favor. Uh, this is the part where I try to, I, I jokingly plug r slash honeyfuckers, but don't go there. <laughs> Do not go to that web zone. This is true. This is true that you have a beast command. You know, back when I was originally streaming on and off back in like, like 2014, I, will put this I used to use like Moobot and shit. 
But like now I just I don't care. <laughs> It'd probably be useful, but it's not like I really actually have a use for it anymore, I guess. I mean, I guess it'd be neat just to, like, auto-banning the Eldritch text. You want to become famous, people, but, like... <laughs> Not bad, huh? Oh, some palm? Or no, that's not palm fruit. That's something else. This will do. I hate gamer video essays. I keep trying to watch this legend of... Like, they keep making awful jokes. Like, oh, this kind of thing. I better... Yeah, yeah. That's why... One of my favorites is Racevic. Because... Like, he doesn't really necessarily make jokes, right? Like, he'll, like... He'll, he'll make it funny, but it's not, like, overbearing like that, right? Uh... <laughs> and then, like, I don't know, Summoning Salt's great. Summoning Salt is fucking incredible. Does very, very, very good speedrun uh, history videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The AVG and ripoffs are not good. You know, like, it, it's always funny that, like, Brutal Moose. I guess he wasn't really trying to be, like, an AVG and ripoff, but, like, you know, he did a lot of video games reviews, like, in that kind of a thing back in the day, but I feel like those still hold up well because Brutal Moose is just cool. Shout outs to Brutal Moose. He just made a he put up a video on his second channel today talking about all the camera his cameras he's used over the years. And that was fun. I can buy flint. What was the other thing I needed? Hey. This. I think. Still need some of these. Ah. Is that a real thing that was said in that video? This game takes place in a city that's enclosed by a wall. That's just Attack on Titan. And I mean, I know Attack on Titan came out later, but like, come on. That's like fucking nostalgia critic level writing. You know, sometimes I feel bad that I used to like Nostalgia Critic a lot. Can't even buy that here. Are you kidding me, dude? Ugh. Like, damn, man. Maybe not to come on, but he went back to that joke because as a right of passage to do with people go outside the walls to hunt, like... I don't know, like, you know, given I, I've already said my opinion probably at least like three times on stream about AVGN and how I don't really like the newer stuff, but like, there is a reason that his old stuff, like those jokes that he made, sometimes if they were a little bit juvenile or whatever, dumb, but like, there's a reason they, they work and it has to do about the whole package of the lad saying it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, good on them for, for making content. Yes, it's correct. But like, oof. Yeah, well, let's let's include the age of calamity for the night. I'll beat this fucking game eventually, but it's just so long. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the challenges off stream again probably, because it's just more loading screens. <laughs> it's just more dead silence. So I'll continue that eventually. God, video game essays got me tuckered out.